So I fell in love with bear hunting in 2007. I'd like to keep the bear population down, which is next to impossible in Idaho and really the Northwest. all downhill. We'll probably bring Bryce <laughs> tomorrow too. Bryce, oh. my plan tomorrow is you, me, and Tim are gonna go get my dad. We'll have to buy him beer, but have him drop us off the top of a mountain and we're gonna e-bike all the way down. But can I make a suggestion? If we do that hunt, can we get out of here early? Yeah, yeah. Because those bears will be out there in the cool of the day. So hard to get out here early, but... So confident? Copy that. Oh. Are you one? nervous about finding Eric, should we have a pen for us? Mark has maps. We got the big dog. We'll start a track. We'll we got two exactly miles like where you're looking over towards Dan's bait. Right. To the right. Yeah. Yep. Really drive that slow. Okay. That's a sweet canyon. There's water down there. And Andrew's done two shots across that canyon. Okay. We can do that. Yeah. That would be fun because then you can drive all the way around and go get the bear and That'd be really fun. It'd be a shoot one across that canyon. Yeah. It's cold beer. You'd be better off. Yeah, drive around. Drive, drive around, yeah. Yeah. Logging country, basically. A lot of clear cuts, but then a lot of deep dark timber right next to it. Hot as hell. I think it was about 85 yesterday. and But it's gorgeous just because it is logging country. There's roads cut everywhere. So the road system and biking system is just amazing to get around in. Truly what they say when they say it's God's country. Talk to me about just like walk, rolling into Bear Camp 2019. Oh, it's exciting. Uh, like you guys know, I kind of won this this hunt from Dan at Elk Shape on Instagram. And uh, Sitka and Vortex sent me out a bunch of gear to try out. And, and do you ever win stuff? Do you win stuff? I don't win shit, <laughs> ever. I, I never win anything. It's I'm easy money when it comes to going to casino, so. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so rolled in here Sunday night, um, I don't know, about 10 o'clock at night, and everyone was kind of hanging out, having a beverage, and uh, it's been a lot of fun since. Switch back, and you'll see my tracks going through. Mm -hmm. uh, I would probably, at that point, hop off the bike, Grab your bow, and hopefully the wind's not at your back, and see if you can walk to the end of the road towards the bait. You never know. Okay. Once you get to the bait, you'll see that there's a log up against it. But I had two stones crammed in the hole. I'm imagining those are out, and the bait should be empty. Then walk back to the bike, ride the bike up. Uh, you're not gonna be able to get the bait lit off because awesome. you're gonna go back down. You'll cross. <laughs> actually, you're gonna go down and up. But anyways, you're gonna cross another creek. It's got it's roaring. You, to spend some time here glassing down all this in the bottoms, creek bottoms especially with a hot day, and then up here in the timber line. And then maybe go up here and just check out that haunt spot. Set your blind up however you want to set a blind up and see if it's been hit. The way I had it is I didn't put any bait in the barrel. I just put the bait on the ground. They have a hole dug out and I covered it with so many logs that you'll be able to know. Okay right away. And then I have a little sign here that says go explore and there's a canyon over here to glass and there's a whole road system below you. That's how you get to that. And all this should make sense, but they're gonna be across the canyon. So off over here? Yeah, they'll, this way. they'll be, they'll be on a different road system. They'll be 200 yards away from there. Okay. So that's why I'm definitely wanting you to hunt that tonight. Only I put 6.30 PM or later. Don't go, don't even mess around. If the wind is going towards the woods, you're not gonna see a bear do a little bit of baiting and whatnot um i'm gonna have when i get to you i'm gonna if you guys haven't killed a bear by then i'm gonna steal you and we're gonna do a little spot and stop loop we're gonna do this it's probably a three or four mile loop we'll just go walk Mark, it what's your phone number i'll 
be at the cabin here until 6. So you got some cabin numbers. And I'll be in town for the next two to three hours. To the point where we start the air conditioning and cold In beers. the truck with the tunes going yep. and I'll bring a cooler full of beer and ice. Alright, we'll bring the good spirits and high fives and bear I meat. Do. I burned that bait. <laughs> So we're coming out of the bear woods. No Got extra weight in the pack. <laughs> <laughs> Got this money canyon behind us. The weather was good. But just... bearless. Oh bearless Joe. Bearless Joe. So we're gonna pop out of here and try to glass. Oh, just glassy little pockets on our way out. A lot of cuts. Just gonna look for a bear cruising out of the edge and try to get these guys a bear, man. We're logging hours. There's a man on the trigger. <laughs> trigger got, man. Got my gun and my sticks put away. We ought to see one out. First bear of the year is right there. Pretty good bear, too. First bear of the year. I can't tell if it's a shooter. Oh, it might be a shooter. That's a decent bear. It's a decent bear. Um, I got a range. I'm guessing 400 yards. Got a decent land. 400 yards. Get you guys a good look at it here. Big shoulders. I'm willing to bet that's a boar. You know, not the biggest bear, but surprisingly good. So, I'd like to get him, especially before these elk, elk calves and deer fawns and moose calves get dropped. If this dude pops out right here, we're looking at closing 90 yards. Pretty fast and impressive. I'd like to get 20, maybe 30 yards from him. Let him have it. Let's do it. Sunset for about 40 minutes a day right here. It's beautiful glass direction. Right on the other side. My bait is on the 
edge of that timber. Idaho is unreal. I mean, the terrain is some of the steepest stuff I've ever seen growing up in the Midwest. It's just vastly different, you know, with the deepest canyons, uh, steepest mountains, hillsides that you can imagine. It's it's unbelievable seeing. Dan, we're at the we're at the Staten cabin up here, and uh, just big, beautiful, steep country and uh, just a pleasure to be in. Um, it's hard to, hard to pick a better setting, that's for sure. So we're up here having a good time and sharing a bear camp and camaraderie. And Dan and his dad are so welcoming. They work so hard. I mean, they're working hard, harder for everybody else than they are <laughs> than themselves. But um, it's, a good, it's a good time. It's a good time to be outside. That bear's doing. It's on video. You know? Dude, it gives you all those personality you things some too, you know? Yeah, like, yeah. what's he doing? Well, and bears, bears are just so, like, they, they, they're weird, man. Yeah. You know? It gives you their body language. I just like, got no color. Like, I got, I got a lot of videos you could watch of bears playing with each other, yeah. like, swatting yeah. each other. Well, I bet you get to see better, like, how they come in, how they're leaving, like, are they going, like, super quick and nervous, or if they're... Got blue steel here. Got, yeah. I <laughs> <laughs> How's that? But that's good, man. That's cool. That's good. It's the same way. It's real good. Smell me. That's a fact. Long arm and hell. Put a bear on here. Let's see if we can go get it down and bring you guys along. And forth he probably smelled me within seconds of me even getting close so I'm not pumped right now at all I'm actually kind of pissed off actually
That is a little beautiful cub. Okay, I feel like an idiot. I did not see those cubs. My dirt bike is there. So, damn it. I think we're gonna go a different way. Glass across this way, go up this bear road. Got a good wind and cut back around. And my bear bait's over there and I can glass from here right now and see if there's a bear on there. Probably is. I'm gonna get to hunting and we'll check back in. That was exciting. I went, basically I walked down this road and off the back side of this ridge is a nice gradual. So I went all the way down, across the creek, went up, walked that road to right there. That's where I got into the bear. And then the cub went up a tree, probably that tree right there. And I walked this road it's not really a road, it used to be a road, all the way around the corner, cross down, up, and here I am, three hours later. So where's this bear gonna go? Now I can get to that road just below it. The wind is probably jamming up, but maybe not. But it's my last day. I'm gonna film them for maybe one more minute and then we're gonna go, we're gonna go right after them. spotted the first bear over there. I got over to him and the wind was just really effy. So I came over here, glassed this bear over here. Came all the way around. And now it's raining, of course. Every time I shoot a bear, it starts raining. And I think I shot the bear that I was after and then there's a, a bear right across the canyon from me. I do have another bear tag, but let's see if we can find this one first. Looks like we should have good blood. That's a good sign. This is success after, today's June 7th. I've had a pretty hard season, heavily emphasizing baiting. I've only been out, I've only done actually, I did one stock across the canyon. I thought it was a boar. And his buddy Eric from Vortex Optics, Eric Barber, and uh, we shot an Instagram story and we never, those guys never saw a bear after six days of hunting. And then I come in here, um, after a full week of hunting with those guys and I'd only seen a couple bears and what do you know I've already I've already seen three bears I didn't see this bear I was up on this oh great hunt I'm gonna get a couple stills and then I gotta go um, work my way out of here and hunt my way out of here because I got another bear tag and hopefully Bryce had some success and Mark and Eric if you're watching this from Vortex guys thanks for coming out that was like the best food best camaraderie we just didn't get a bear and uh, this is my first kill with a Matthews Vertex. I couldn't be any happier. I gotta give a shout out to Onyx Hunt because I spotted this bear 
three miles away. And then I put that, I pulled up the app and put on the uh, satellite imagery overlay. And I could tell where the opening was. Dropped a pin right on it with the bear icon. And then jammed over here. And I never did spot that bear. I intercepted it. I got right to my waypoint. Not 10 seconds there. The bear's feeding right up to me. 20 yards broadside. Just like we like it. Bear didn't go 100 yards. And it's still daylight. And I'm hiking out on my last day of bear hunting. 2019. That's a nice bear. Really nice. And this thing's actually getting pretty good footage as far as we are away. We are looking at the bait that's 280 yards away and I was starting to get really cold so I thought well I'm gonna get up and walk down you know 150 yards away from the bait and just glass this other basin and sure enough I look across the canyon about a mile away there's a big black bear over there and he's he is really a bodybuilder he looks really big at what would you say 1500 yards <laughs> yeah yeah I was like it's just jet black and thick and just scurrying just cruising this canyon kind of hugging tight to the to the thick green stuff yep Yeah, it's been a lot of fun sharing camp with all these guys. I mean, Dan and Rod have an incredible place here. The hospitality has been awesome. Um, this is my first time ever ever bear hunting, so it's been really cool to see a new style of hunting um, in a brand new place. And, you know, just getting to meet all kinds of new people. Tim met you, uh, met Colton, a bunch of other people that have kind of been in and out. And, like, the camaraderie of it has been awesome. Kind of tucked away in this little cabin in the, in the mountains. It's pretty cool. Just do it. Like, if you're thinking about, you know, getting into hunting or bear hunting or looking for a new hunt to do at a time of year where really there's no other big game opportunities, this is the answer. I mean, it's gorgeous country. You're going to scout for elk and all other stuff that you're probably already doing, you know, in the meat in the in that process. And it's just a gorgeous time of year to be outside. So get out there, give it a shot. You definitely won't be disappointed. Plenty. Awesome, dude. Thanks. Yeah. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> Wouldn't if you weren't in the mountains this time of year. So generous with their tags. It's over the counter. Uh, you can hunt bears here in a variety of capacities, whether it's bait or dogs or hounds. Uh, right now we're doing a combination um, I should bait dogs and hounds. Uh, of spot and stock bait hounds we're kind of doing a uh, combination of spot and stock and bait i mean we're in the skinny part of the state here the country is steep happen and 
if it doesn't, the experience has been totally complete. Just a very whole, uh, fulfilling uh, experience with all the great guys here, including you, Tim, and you really couldn't ask for anything more. So for me, bear hunting really felt like I'm getting the reps in. I'm getting myself sharper into that hunting mode that I normally wouldn't see until September. Definitely, I was able to get it done in a unit that um, was not so far from home for me, and it was like a dream bear for my first bear, so super exciting. Good laughs, big meals, and yeah, it was great. Uh, bear camp was an amazing way to kick off the year, and for me, 2019 is like off to the, one of the best starts I could imagine. Just fell in love with the idea of really working hard on getting a bear in the spring when a lot of times all I was doing was maybe turkey hunting and waiting for September to get around. And as I learned more about bear hunting, I realized that I was doing the elk a huge favor because bears rut in the spring, boars travel ridge lines looking for sows, and the timing's impeccable because cows are dropping their calves in the same country that overlaps and not that bears are just I don't want to say that they're they're just doing what bears do and and, and a calf a day is probably the average what most recent studies show and, and hunters are the best managers we spend the money our, on the hunting license and the tags and we gas up in those small towns and buy groceries so we really pump that economy so I promote bear hunting for anyone that wants to do over-the-counter spring bear hunting come to idaho or, to, or montana or even oregon get yourself a tag and help your elk population out. Uh, in our system and i think that bear meat is underrated and i feel like more and more people should add that to their freezer